Hey everyone, it's Sandy, and I just have an update for you. Not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before, I just had a video talking about how I wanted to use up my stash, especially the stuff that was just hanging around on my desk. I showed you a big pile of papers and stickers and different things like that, and I want you to know that I kept to it, and this is what I made last week. So, there are some videos for some of the layouts. Uh, some there are not, and I was posting on Instagram as I was completing stuff. But anyways, I've had a really good time using up my stash, and I'm going to continue to do it through the month of September. I'm going to try and use up things that I have on my desk, um, and I will show you a weekly video of what I've completed, and I will do some... Um, videos on the layouts I do but not every one of them so I'm just going to show you really quickly this is a paper that I did use up all of these little tickets and things like that this is just stuff I've had to the side like on this little thing and um, I still have a lot more in here to use up but that's where I knew I wanted to do these two pictures and then I just kind of started using scraps that I had laying around these little Amy Tan tickets and things like that and I really do like the way it came out. And it's just a layout talking about, it doesn't even, I think I, journal, oh, I journaled on the back. So it's just saying how me and Lisa had talked about doing that coffee time podcast. We did do it and this is our very first one up. And this is just one of the Facebook posts I think that um, Lisa had put up. And then I just went ahead and embellished um, with just different things that I had. This right here, I put this happen.com baby. And um, yeah, I really like the way it came out. So that is one layout that I completed. Here is another one I completed. And I believe there was a video on this about how I did the misting and all of that. And again, this is just stuff that I had around close by. Another layout I did. And with this background right here, I sh I didn't do a video on this layout, but I did do one. I'm trying to find the other layout that's kind of similar on this layout. So on this one, see how it has the rub-ons and I showed how I was just kind of rubbing them on and moving them about. I did the same thing with this one. This was actually the first one I did. Um, I bought, I think, three or four packs of those rub-ons from Freckled Fawn because they were like 99 cents. And um, I really enjoy using them like that, just kind of putting putting them messily on in the background. And this is just a picture I had of Isabel. I believe it was her fourth birthday. It was She was going to turn four or three. I can't remember now. She was actually, I don't know. Isn't that bad? She was going to turn four. And this is Gabby. And I was trying to get her a picture with all of her Sesame Street stuffed animals because Gabby loved Elmo for the first time. Well, then I would set, like, Gabby off over here, but Gabby would make her way crawling over there, and then she would, like, attack Isabel and, like, just squish on the little um, stuffed animals. It was the cutest thing, and I just grabbed that picture of Isabel just cracking up. So I used some enamel dots, used some more stickers. I've had this forever. I think it's from a Sassafras pack, and I just did my journaling on this. This is from Heidi Swap, and I put that kind that sister kind of love, and I just thought that came out cute. So just matted it behind some paper, and that was it. There is a video out for this layout, and just again, it's just stuff that I had out on my desk, and I had this out on my desk, these little embellishments, because they're from the Heidi Swap Project Life pack, and I had just got done showing them like a couple days before, and they never put them away, so I went ahead and I used a whole bunch of those up. This is one of my favorite layouts. I don't believe I have a video for this, but I just used some sticker sheets. Amy Tan, thickers, some enamel dots, and I use purple. I never use purple. I just don't, it's not something I scrapbook with a lot, so I didn't have a lot to choose from, but I just had those purple enamel dots, and I think that's a little bit purple, and I put some pink in the background. But anyways, when Gabby was little, she used to love to walk like a penguin, and we used to tell her, walk like a penguin, Gabby, and so she started, she would like, crunch her little shoulders in and put her arms out to the side that and she would like waddle 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 to the side and I thought it was hilarious so I had taken these pictures and I never put them on a layout so I finally got it done and I really like the way it came out just something really simple I didn't mat it or anything but I really like the way it came out one of my favorites and then I did this layout as well which is another favorite and it is Richard's mom and Gabby and they call her Mimi and yeah so I just used some of these uh, chipboard things from I think create what is it called oh goodness create paper and things like that and there is a video on this one as well but it's simple but you get it done you know what I mean 
This one, I don't believe I did a layout for, but I did, used up a lot of pieces. I had this tag set, and I don't know who it was from, but there's like four tags right here, and I think there's still one more somewhere. I couldn't find it, but I just laid them out. This is a picture I've had forever ago of Isabel and Gabby, and they're just so girly. They just crack me up. Gabby with her tutu and Isabel with her posing. It's just so funny. And these are from, I had these forever, which are from the um, Heidi Swap collection. And I believe these were sold with that calendar that she had out. And I had bought um, one of each. And anyway, so I used up a lot of those chipboard pieces from it. This I'm a fan. And that hashtag best day. This is from Freckle Fawn. And actually, look, I didn't take the back. That's hilarious. So there was a sticker back apparently, and I didn't take it off. So the sticker back fell off. Let me glue it while I'm right here. Oh, good grief. Well, that's funny. At least I know exactly where it's going to go, right? So I glued the sticker back on and not that. That'll stick. So anyways, I've used a lot of enamel dots. I used these up, which were is really hard for me to use. They came in freckle font, I think, because look how thick they are. They're really dimensional. But this had so much dimension on it with all this chipboard, I thought I'd go ahead and use it up, and I am glad that I did. And so basically what I did is I journaled a little bit in each of these cards about how the girls are just, you know, so cute and so girly and stuff. And so I journaled in four of them. That was it. I put a whole bunch of mist on the background. And yeah, so that's another layout completed. I did a process video on this one. And again, there's the rub-ons, which I really, really enjoy. And I really like the way this came out. I've had these enamel uh, quotation marks forever, so it was nice to finally use those up. It's nice to use a lot of this stuff up. Here's one more layout. And on this one, I do not believe I had a video, but I have had these enamel dots forever in this little stack that I have right here, which is dwindling down because it used to be pretty full. You couldn't even stick anything in. So that's kind of nice to see go down. But I always struggled with these because they had triangles, they had the squares, they had these octagon shapes, and I just never knew what to do with them. And I love this card. So this is a picture of Isabel when she was little. She's always liked to dress up. She dressed up as Dora, Swiper. She had so many costumes. And she would love to go out like that in public, like to the grocery store or whatever. And I didn't care. I would let her go. So that's basically what I journaled about right here, how she used to go out like that. And I would let her and she would have so much fun. And people would always compliment her, you know, like, oh, she's so cute and blah, blah, blah. And so... She always had a good time doing that. So I just kind of put random little patterns of all these enamel dots. And then I backed it behind this uh, Amy Tan paper that I have. And I really like the way it came out. I mean, it was just so fun. I've had these forever. They're from um, Freckled Fawn as well. So it's just so nice to use up so much of my stuff that I've had here. Struggling what to do with it. But now it's all kind of coming together. There is a video on this one as well. And this is just... Stickers from a sticker sheet that I use, scrap pieces of paper, more enamel dots. Now, I know there, I showed this already, but I did, I consider my Project Life cards that are right there on my desk as well. And so I, you know, I made it a habit to use the things that I had, like these little enamel dots. I had that little camera stuck in here. And, um, yeah, just different things. So... Let me see. I'm trying to find. Oh, and see, there's more of that Heidi Swap circles that I used up. More enamel dots. And I have these that I've been struggling to use for some time. So it was nice to, even though it was young, one, to use one of these geo tags. And then I'm starting my August um, Project Life, which all of this is scraps. Like all of these, like I cut the, the I ran out of use. So I cut my circle, not my circle, the letter O in half to make two U's. And yeah, more enamel dots that I'm using, Project Life cards, more of those Heidi Swap pieces, those chipboard pieces that came on these, um, stickers that I have out from old Amy Tan collections. And yeah, I'm just using a lot of stuff up using these freckled fawn pieces, the these vellum stickers. So just using a lot of bits and pieces up. So I just wanted to show you, I completed all of this from Sunday, from the Sunday I made the video to last, to this past Sunday. I completed all of these. So it was a really good week of scrapping for me. It looks like I got one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. I got 10 layouts done in about, I'm going to say two like front and backs of the Project Live pages. So that was amazing. So yeah, that's where I'm at this week. I'm going to continue to do it throughout the week. And then I will share with you again next week. And let me show you our newest little member. Hey, Izzy, look right here. This is Izzy. We got a boxer to kind of replace Bailey who passed away this past summer. And yeah, she's nine months old and she's adorable. And I love her coloring. And so we're having a lot of fun with our new family pet. And yeah, I will be scrapping her this week, I'm sure. All right. Bye, guys.